Hey guys, welcome to IT Contents channel and in today's video I'm going to show you how to create a Cardinex live image on your flash drive. So how to run Cardinex for the flash drive with assistance. So you just want to navigate to your favorite browser. Then we want to download Cardinex, the version that is supported on a flash drive. Then you want to click on this get link after downloading download Cardinex. Click on the first link. Then once you are here, you want to scroll down. So most of you, you maybe you had this one. We won't use this one or that one. Okay, you want to go here where it says live boot. So click live boot. Then it should give you this screen here. So from this screen, just make sure you have 64 bits selected. Then also under the versions here, as you can see, this one is 10 gigs, which means it has everything all the tools that Kali Linux offers. Then this one has most of the tools installed, but not all of them. Okay, and this one is, you know, the basic one. So in our case, I'll be done. I'll be, I'll be getting this one, but you can get this one depending on which one or what you want to use the flash type for. So let's say if you want to download it, you can either torrent it or you can click this download like that and as that will start downloading on your book at the bottom here on your screen but in my case i have to go to my downloads and then you should see it downloading so i already have this so i'll just cancel it then also you would need rufus since this is the tool we are going to use to write the image to our first tab with persistence so we want to download rufus as well just by clicking on that and it should take you to rufus.ie that's the original website, so just make sure you are not downloading it from anywhere else. Then you want to scroll down to where it says download, and then you want to click this Rufus, the latest one, which is 3.18. So yeah, you just want to click that, and then it should download as well. As you can see, it's a small executable file, which doesn't need installation. So as well, I can find it under my downloads, as you can see, it's fully downloaded. So now we can open it up in our downloads, just double click on it. So once you double click on it, you should see it pop up like this. Okay, that's what you should see. So now you need to plug in your flash drive. So it should be at least 16 gigs and above. So you have to make sure you have a 16 gig flash drive and above. And recommendedly, I would say a USB 3 so that it's faster. So I'll plug it in on my PC. So once you plug it in on your PC, it should reflect here once it reads. Okay. So as you can see, it has read the flash drive and that's the flash drive, 16 gig flash drive. But in your case, it will be whatever you named it in the drive later will be there. Okay, and if you have a lot of flash drives connected to a PC, please make sure that you select the right one here just by clicking here and you see a drop down. Select the flash drive con that you need to use. Don't just say, oh, there's a flash drive and format it because this will clear all the contents on the flash drive. So you have to make sure that you are selecting the right one. Then here, you want to now click here and select the image. So the image, ISO image you downloaded for Kali. Okay, so in my case, I will navigate where I stored it. So in your case also, you just need to navigate to where you stored it. Okay, so let's say for my case, I see my systems, Linux, I have my Kali Linux 2022.2. Okay, I'll just select it and as you can see now it has selected it right there that's my iso image and it should say live okay it should say live it's if it's not live then it won't gonna work okay then now you want to drag this persistent partition size you want to drag it to a reasonable if if you want you can drag it all the way to the far end okay like that Okay, let's say yeah like that 10 gigs so it will be using this as the storage for whatever you're going to to be doing so let's say you did maybe uh, some analysis and data yeah, that you've stored in the first drive will store in that partition so meaning anytime you boot from the first drive it will always have that information and all your previous things that you are doing so once you do that you want to just leave it the way it is under MBR BIOS or UEFI. Okay, then here that will be the new name for the volume. 
then once you are done with that you just want to click start okay so this will, will give you this uh, warning here to say to it will be downloading some things so just say yes okay and it will give you another prompt saying it is going to delete anything that is on the system so as you can see it's going to delete anything that is on that first drive so I'll just say yes okay confirm then it will delete all the partitions on the first drive and create its own partitions to get out the part persistence partition so once it's done i'm going to show you now how you can boot from the first drive itself and how you can use it and i'll show you the persistence of the first drive okay so here i'm going to fast forward the video to the point where it's done doing the formatting and copying all the files to the first time okay so now that it's ready you just want to restart the pc and then i show you how you can boot from the first time i've powered down my pc so now i can power on the pc so that you see what will happen when we enter the bios when you try to boot from the first time so i'll be pressing f12 to enter my to see my boot menu okay so if you want to know i put the password just let me know i'll explain to you okay so now from here i'll choose my first drive of which i can see it is this one here okay i'll just press enter okay so that should put into our kali linux as you can see what is saying it's saying live system so if you want to use the partition that we created earlier you would go to this one for example this one or this one so in this example I'll show you on this live system with USB persistence then I'll just press enter that should start up the Kali Linux itself so just give it a second to load so as you can see now we are booting from our flash drive itself okay so as you can see you have everything that you need as you can see so i can then that's my desktop now it's ready as you can see yeah, it's very responsive fully functional as you can see this is what and as you can see these are just the petitions on my main hard drive okay and i'll also be demonstrating how you can uh, clear a forgotten let's say administrative password using Kali Linux like this from a USB so don't forget to subscribe for that and that's how you boot so now if we were to create a file in here okay let's say a directory create folder I'll name it uh, subscribe okay so then now I'll create it and as you can see we have subscribed on the desktop so power down the you should see it you should see the folder again appear on the desktop since we have created a persistent uh, flash drive so i'll do this i'll power it i'll shut it down but then we'll boot from it again so that you see that it's going to maintain all the information that we previously created so i'll boot from my drive again okay so i'll select the flash drive again press enter and I'll go to my live system with persistence, the one we used earlier, click enter. And again, just leave it to do its thing. And then we should see all the files we created on the desktop to be there. So as you can see now that it has booted, and as you can see, we still have our folder there subscribed. So that's how you create a color in this live bootable flash drive with persistence. So if you like the video, please leave a like, subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my future uploads. See you in the next video.